New Year's Eve, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, the Gator Bowl, Wake Forest taking on Rutgers, and Wake is favored by 15 points here. 15 points. Rutgers just got back to campus around Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, somewhere around there, so that they could actually come play this game. They are a 5-7 and seven team. They have not been great. They are good at stopping the rush, but what Wake Forest does not do very much is rush the football. I believe I heard a stat that Sam Hartman, the quarterback for Wake Forest, 70% of his passing yards are air yards. That is an incredible, incredible stat. I could not believe it when I heard it. They have a really, really weird offense that it takes longer to prepare for than just, you know, six days or whatever it's been since the team got back together at Rutgers. They haven't played in a while. They haven't practiced. They're not really in game shape, I don't believe. But Rutgers wanted the opportunity. And while it's 15 points and you really want to give them an option there, you know, obviously Rutgers, uh, I think, would be pretty successful against the ACC if this were a typical situation. I think Rutgers just wanted the bowl trip, and I don't blame them. You get to go down to Jacksonville, hang out. I mean, in, in New Jersey right now, it is it is cold. I don't imagine that Rutgers will be able to score many points on Wake Forest. As bad as that Demon Deacons defense actually is, I, I think Wake Forest is going to be able to put up quite a bit of points on Rutgers. I think they want to close out the season the right way. They lost in the ACC championship game in a fashion that was not exactly what they wanted it to be playing against Pitt in a championship game. So I look for the offense to come back out, score a bunch of points here. I'm going to take Wake Forest to cover the 15. I know it's a lot of points, but I think Sam Hartman wants to go out on a big, big, big note. And uh, and Dave Clawson in that offense, uh, they they should be able to be cooking, especially against uh, Rutgers. You know, Greg Schiano, a defensive guy, yes. And they have been good with their front seven stopping the rush. Again, Wake Forest doesn't run the football. So, the bowl gifts on this, by the way, it's at TIAA Bank Stadium in Jacksonville. A Maui Gym's sunglasses fitting, a fossil watch, waterproof Bluetooth speaker, noise-canceling headphones, a power bank, and a tile Bluetooth wireless tracker. These are all practical. These are all good. Uh, I like this. Okay, this is good. Tax Layer Gator Bowl, pretty good. I can get down with those bowl gifts. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.